there are just so many crochet tips all over the internet and most of them really are useful and they help you crochet better or faster or relaxed uh, or something. But then there are also those that I personally find pointless. <laughs> and uh, I'm listing five of those here now and most likely you will find some of those very useful and you are using those all the time because how we crochet is different. Like last week, I'm filming outside near Belfast in Northern Ireland. I'm on the Belfast lock here and uh, Belfast Harbour is sort of behind me there at the back. The first useless tip is actually almost ridiculous. And the point with this is that you make a huge handle for your crochet hook by inserting it into a tennis ball. I'm not even going to do that to waste the tennis ball. You stick a crochet hook without a handle through a tennis ball. Okay, so that it will be like this here. Now, well for me obviously, who crochets with a tight pen grip, that would be impossible. I mean, I simply couldn't, couldn't crochet. But even if you have a knife grip like this here from above, Imagine crocheting with this here and how bad it is for your hand to be constantly in this sort of a position and how hard it would be to make the stitches. So I'm not sure this may just be a joke, but it's going around. <laughs> so a tennis ball definitely goes away. <laughs> the next one is something that many people must find useful because it's shown everywhere, but I just don't see any point in that. And that's called Russian join. You most likely have heard of it and you are maybe using it. It just seems so much extra unnecessary work. The idea is the same as when you are just twisting two yarns and it also thickens the yarn equally compared to this twisting unless you take some strands of yarn away from it. There are so many ways of joining yarn and to me Russian join is not one of them. The next tip that I find useless but you might like has to do with finishing yarn ends. Occasionally in my comments and in various places I've seen people say that you have to put the yarn to three different directions so that it doesn't come out in the wash. I just see this as unnecessary work. I mean it stays easier, much easier than that. Unless you use very heavy washes or something like that. Although there can be an explanation to this in that in some countries, lots of people use acrylic yarn, which I never use. So acrylic being plastic may be sort of um, slippier, that you may need that in some instances. But here I'm listing things that are useless for me. So for me, this would be a waste of time, but it may be that you're using the kind of yarns where that is necessary. The next tip that I often see and find useless has to do with keeping tension of your crochet. You see so many different explanations about twisting the yarn around this finger or that. And I simply see all of those unnecessary. It's enough just to hold on to the yarn and crochet. <laughs> and the last pointless tip is common as well. It has to do with feeding your yarn balls through something. It can be anything, a sieve or a basket with holes or making holes into a bottle or whatever. And, uh, and there are two different types of where you could put the yarn ball. And I think bowls, ordinary bowls are fine. But if you feed it through something so that you can't get it off there without cutting the yarn, then I think those are useless <laughs> and I would never go for those. Again, what makes a difference is what type of balls of yarn you're using. I'm almost only using center pull yarns. Sometimes I'm too lazy and I just make a ball where the yarn comes from the outside. Then I need to put it somewhere. But in most cases, even if I had five or six balls of yarn, I mean, I would just keep them in front of me on the floor or on the table and they don't go anywhere. <laughs> One reason why this isn't right for me, but could be for you, is that I constantly take my crochet with me to other places and I also travel a lot. It is so important to think through the different tips that we hear so that we don't just start doing something because somebody told us so. So what do you think about all these tips? Do you use them, find them useful or useless? 
Have you seen all of them before? And are there tips that you have seen, different ones from these, that you find quite pointless and that you would never use? Would be lovely to know.